after all these days of investigating these people will come to my comment section to drop things out of point they don't watch they don't watch the videos what they do is to just drop a comment that is ridiculous you know and then they will go they don't watch videos they comment based on the caption so for those people who watch these videos to the end i see you and i appreciate your love right so <laughs> nigerians i want to tell you something please eh we know that our government is not giving us what we want to but i want to tell you that nigeria this Nigeria we are living in is the best country in the world. So all I used to say in those days, I was not mixing words when I said that Nigeria is the best country in the world. Both our food, our mode of dressing, the way we talk, the kind of things we do, our the way we are zealous for good things, the way we are very, you know, we are very proactive. The way we, we go out to do things to ensure that we secure the bag. All of those. Nigeria is blessed. We don't need to get somebody who is a third walk in a, it might make us in to become slaves in our own country. We don't need all of those. We are we are we are self-sufficient. That's how Nigerians are. God has blessed Nigerians so much that the only if if our government that's why they used to say nobody, nobody can always have it all. As cute as Nigeria is, as wonderful, beautiful as their women, handsome as their men are, imagine if we now get a very good, that's a very, that's, we have good leadership. Ah, Nigeria would, see, even US will be coming, will be begging us to live in Nigeria. Like with all I have read and watched, oh, this pre, this days, this few days, I am so shocked that we've been living in heaven without our knowledge. I'm telling you, I am telling you, we've been living in heaven without our knowledge. So in all this, these South Africans are making mouth, so they actually will move on the road and something will happen to them. Ah, meanwhile, me, I will go out, maybe go to church, come back in the night, nothing. Ah, ah, really? Wow. Which means Nigeria is even very safe because I remember the videos I did where I had to travel to another state to do those videos and came back and there was no harassment nothing like nobody stopped us on the road there were times we came back in the night nobody would that's a journey of one hour nobody will lead anybody uh -uh. Uh -uh. now wow now wow i am surprised hey so nigeria is safe like this and i did not know see that's what they say oh you will never know what people are going through until you hear their story. Aye! South Africans say, you're not supposed to talk. I think in the whole of Africa, crime rate in your, 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 the crime rate in your area is the highest. So please, eh, when you hear Nigerians talking, keep quiet. And when you are coming for Nigerians, come correct. Like I told you guys, if you stop commenting lies and trash on my comment section, I'll... I would definitely stop doing videos about you. But the more you comment, the more videos I'll make about you. Have you seen this Afang soup? Do you have something like this in your place? No, you can never. You Have you seen how our banana is natural ripe? Natural. No chemical. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we are not eating. In this place, you eat hamburger when you feel like you eat shawarma, pizza when you feel like occasionally, not something that it's a, a meal for you. You can see how I made this, this, uh, you know, bas, basmati rice. See how I made it with a lot of veggies, all vegetables, the protein, everything, the chicken you are seeing, pepper chicken, all from Nigeria. Because we have farms. Gone are the days when Nigerians used to import. Now, if you like import chicken, nobody will answer you because the ones we buy here are authentic. So you see, we are doing okay in this country. We are doing fine. We don't need anybody. So you see, this yam fried with the, you know with egg and meat made for my cousins who visited. So, as in, do you understand? Here, I took my friend out for us to have a snack. That was my friend you saw. 
This is moi moi. It's a byproduct of beans. I know you don't know it. Ah, this is how I stared it. Everything you saw that time had entered inside. You can see a little out there. Then I will now use leaves to tie it. Mm, I'll wrap it now and now cook it. And we call it moi moi. And it's very healthy. Do you have something like this in your place? You can never ever. You don't have. So when we are talking, don't talk. When Nigerians are talking, keep quiet. You know, Rishu, like, when Nigerians are talking, don't talk. You know, after I even watched, look at how that's how it came out. Yummy. So yummy. South Africans. So yummy. Nigeria is blessed, man. Culture. In everything. You people talk about tribe. I hear that in your place, they give jobs according to tribe, not according to competence. Ah, now, wow. And you people are coming to shame us that we do tribalism. Your own level of tribalism is high. Just imagine yourself using that moe moe to eat this jollof rice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi. In your next world, South Africa, you will never look for our trouble. Lie, lie. Just look at, have you seen the quantity of crayfish? See the afang. Are you seeing that? All these are different soups I'm about to make. This is a for Hey, hey. The Yoruba people own a for This particular, the way they made it, this particular recipe is a Yoruba a for I made. You can imagine the protein alone. We've not even started cooking. Just check it out. Check it out. Ah, ah. You want to talk. You want to talk. Then this is made from granite. And there is a little, there, uh, we have some natural spices in it. We eat it with the garden eggs, natural, no addictive, no preservatives. And all this went out to customers, all made in Nigeria. So what are we saying? What do you want? To, what do you have to offer? What if we say we block all borders and you are shouting, close the embassy, close the embassy. If we close the embassy, we're not going to survive. There are a lot of, somebody commented, check my comments, you see. There are lots of South Africans in, in, in schools in Lagos, some in Abuja, and you are there shouting, there is no South Africa in there. Go to Lekki and go and see the South Africans there. So imagine after you saw all those soups, you now use this pounded yam. Oh, meh. You pound it very well, you know, slippery. Then you now use it to any soup of your choice in all the soups I was making there. So when next you want to talk, look at our meals alone and respect us. Give Nigerians some respect. We are too much. Ah, proudly Niger for life. Who them be? Where them be? I beg, come off a road for Nigerians, please. Eh? When you see a Nigerian, respect them. We are too much. We know our onions, and we know our. We know who we are. You can't tell us otherwise. Keep your insecurities to yourselves. <laughs>